The year is 2094. The Earth is no longer habitable. Climate chaos, pollution, and coffee prices have spiraled out of control. After migrating to other planets, humans are struggling with death every day due to massive changes in pressure, extreme temperatures, and uncontrollable gravitational environments. In their desperate escape from Earth in search of life, they have unknowingly thrown themselves into another doorway to death. Space isn't empty, it's full of death. Not the kind that comes swiftly, but the kind that crushes, burns, poisons one breath at a time. Let's start with Venus, a planet wrapped in thick yellow clouds which are beautiful from afar but deadly up close. The pressure is 90 times stronger than Earth. It's like standing a kilometer under the ocean, with no suit, no warning. Here's what happens. Your body, full of air-filled spaces like lungs, sinuses, and intestines, suddenly find itself in an environment where the atmosphere is crushing you with 90 Earth atmospheres. If you're not an incredibly well-sealed, pressurized suit, and let's be honest, even the best ones struggle here, your lungs will collapse, your eardrums will burst, and the nitrogen in your bloodstream may bubble like a soda pop. It's not just death, it's explosive, bone-shattering, organ-flattening death. If you're inside a spacecraft or habitat, Venus isn't just knocking politely, it's banging on the door with a hydraulic press. Any structural weakness becomes a death sentence. This is the kind of pressure that crushes probes in hours, that laughs in the face of engineering. You don't get to say, tell my family I love them. Under pressure, your death is fast, brutal, and silent. You're not just dying, you're being compressed out of existence. Every planet, every moon, every alien sky wants you dead. Not out of malice, just nature. But what if you could fight back? What if death by atmosphere was no longer inevitable? This is the promise of the Atmospheric Adaptation Drug, AAD. Imagine astronauts walking on the surface of Venus without a helmet. Imagine a colony on this unforgiving planet where children breathe methane-rich air. Not because we changed the planet, but because we changed ourselves. AAD isn't just a drug. It's the next step in human evolution. AAD doesn't change the planet, it changes us. It teaches the body to endure crushing pressure, to breathe in toxic gases, to survive where no human should. With AAD, your lungs don't collapse. Your blood carries what little oxygen there is. Your cells resist poison. With AAD, you don't just survive, you make the universe slightly less rude. Bruh, one minute I'm getting deep fried in Venus, the next I'm turning into an astronaut popsicle on Pluto. Who approved this neighborhood? This ain't relocation, it's slow cooked extinction. Somebody better invent AC for the bloodstream or I'm suing NASA. On Venus or Mercury, you don't die with a big explosion. It's more likely slowly getting cooked. Step outside without the right gear and your body starts falling apart right away. Sweat disappears, your skin starts burning, and your lungs can't handle it. Even the best spacesuit won't help much. You're not just dying, you're getting grilled by the planet itself. Let's start with Venus. Imagine a planet where the greenhouse effect went way too far. That's Venus. The temperature there hits around 475 degrees Celsius, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. Why? Because Venus has a super thick CO2 atmosphere that traps heat like crazy. Now Mercury. Totally a story. No atmosphere, no protection. The sun just blasts it directly. With temperatures reaching up to 430 degrees Celsius, it's you versus the full power of the sun. Living on other planets? Sounds cool. Until your body starts roasting in 450 degrees Celsius of heat, or your eyelids freeze shut at negative 230 degrees Celsius. Turns out, human bodies aren't exactly built for multi-planet living. That's where the temperature regulation drug comes in. It's not just a fancy chill pill. It's a high-tech fix that helps your body handle insane heat or cold by tweaking how your cells react to temperature, keeping your core temp steady, and managing how your body uses energy and fluids under stress. Whether you're facing a heat stroke on Mercury or turning into ice on Neptune, this jug helps you to adjust to whatever flavor of the planet surfing. Okay, this stuff slaps. I don't need to dress like a space ninja just to keep my skin from turning red. Call me Sun God! I fear no sun, no snow, just radiation. You thought extreme heat and cold were bad? Buddy, wait till you meet space radiation. The invisible silent killer that doesn't burn, freeze, or explode, it just scrambles your DNA. You step outside on Mars, 
Five minutes later, you're vomiting, your skin's peeling off, and your organs just start to give up. You land on Europa, crack open the hatch, and your cells start self-destructing before you even get a good selfie. Ayo, that moon doesn't just kill you, it deletes you from the timeline. Because unlike heat or cold, radiation doesn't wait around, it doesn't knock, it breaks in, wrecks your insides, and quietly leaves you with a cancer and organ failure. Mars doesn't have a magnetic field and its air is super thin, that means it can't protect you from harmful space radiation. On Earth, we're lucky, our planet blocks most of it, like a giant invisible shield, but on Mars, it's just you, the dirt, and a bunch of deadly rays trying to harm your DNA. The final boss of radiation. Jupiter's magnetic field is insanely strong. It traps high energy particles and turns them into massive radiation belts, which are more intense than anything around Earth. That's where radiation shielding compounds were born. These are advanced engineered substances designed to absorb and block high energy particles, prevent DNA damage, and reduce long-term exposure risk for humans living beyond Earth. When you're out there, where space is a microwave set to kill, this compound acts like an internal anti-radiation shield. It's like sunscreen, but for your DNA. Okay, not glowing green anymore. That's progress. Thanks, science juice. Whew, okay, I'm still alive from radiation. We love that. Space one, cancer zero. You survived the radiation. Congrats! But now, Jupiter's gravity is trying to fold you like a chair. Maybe you're on Mars, you're slowly turning into jelly. On Jupiter, your heart gives out trying to pump blood. Your ribs collapse just from standing up. You get body slammed by the planet's gravity. In contrast, on Mars or the moon, no pressure, no resistance, so your muscles melt and your bones become fragile. Space gives you two options. With too much gravity, your body gets decompressed. With too little, your muscles and bones slowly weaken over time. Why gravity is out to get you Jupiter? With 2.5 times the Earth's gravity, each step feels like lifting weights. Every step is a squat PR. Your heart can't pump fast enough or strong enough. Bones get compacted and muscles are overstretched. Mars and Moon, the chill killers. Mars has 38% Earth gravity. Moon has just 16%. In low gravity, your body stops maintaining muscle or bone strength. After weeks or months, your bones get weaker and your muscles shrink. It helps your body to adjust to unusual gravity whether it's too strong or too weak by keeping your muscles, blood pressure, and bones in balance. This crazy drug boosts your circulation in high gravity environments so your heart doesn't give out and supports your body structure and strength in low gravity so you don't turn into space jelly. Bro, I just beat cosmic radiation, survived space gravity, and now I'm about to get clapped by not having lunch? Dying from thirst. From the first day to the second day, your mouth is dry, your body is tired, and your mind is confused, but you still hope. In the next three days, your kidneys start failing, blood pressure drops. At this point, you're not just thirsty, you're dangerously dry. And remember, many planets don't have accessible waters. No rivers, no rain, no alien 7-Eleven. You might get one sip a day if you're lucky, but think again, acidic soup. Now the hunger hits. Without food, your body enters emergency cannibal mode. But it eats itself, starts burning fat, then moves on to muscle, and eventually begins shutting down organs to conserve energy. It's a slow process. You stay conscious, weak, as your system dies politely and efficiently. And here's the kicker. In a situation like this, you might think it's okay to ignore the thirst and hunt down whatever creatures are around you on the planet. But before you take that risk, are you sure it's safe? These are the reasons why hydration stabilizers make it different. This drug enhances your body's ability to hold on to and use water more efficiently, preventing dehydration in dry, alien environments. It reduces water loss through sweat, breathing, and urination, optimizing hydration at the cellular level. Cool, right? Similarly, the metabolic efficiency enhancer boosts your body's ability to extract maximum energy from minimal food, making survival possible even on tiny rations or alien calories. This drug enhances nutrient absorption by up to 300%, slows down your metabolism without affecting brain function, and basically turns a single protein bar into a week's worth of fuel. I'm full. I'm hydrated. I look like a space camel with a six-pack, right? Besides staying clear of alien threats, humans also need extra nutrients and high-tech gear to stay alive and adapt to the wild conditions on other planets. This time makes you regret about the past, right? 
ignored vegetables, enjoyed fried chicken, and now these color plants whet your appetite? Out here, the plants aren't just pretty. They're loaded with things your body's never seen. Nerve disruptors, heavy metals, stuff that turns your blood into soup if you're not careful. The exotic plant toxin antidote gets rid of the bad stuff. It flushes out toxins and resets your system. For the next hour, you'll feel more alert, seeing better, hearing clearer, and reacting quicker. Sometimes, a few extra seconds of awareness is all that stands between you and becoming plant food. This is not our beloved Earth. In the vast unknown, seeing isn't enough. To survive, you need to feel the world around you in ways no human was ever meant to. The Enhanced Sensory Perception, a tool that heightens your senses beyond the ordinary. The moment you activate it, the world transforms into a symphony of sensory input, revealing every hidden detail. In an environment where the slightest change could mean life or death, every sensation is a weapon, every sound is a clue, every detail could be the difference between survival and failure. From the softest whispers of the wind to the heartbeat of a predator, nothing goes unnoticed. When your senses are sharpened to this level, you become more than human, you become a part of the world itself. Sometimes, talking things out isn't an option, especially when the thing you're talking to has 12 legs, no face, and just ate your drone. Enter the Enhanced Strength Serum. One shot and you're not just strong, you're pick up an alien tank and yeet it into the sunset strong. Muscle mass increase, reaction speed off the charts. Side effects may include smashing through walls, lifting unreasonable objects, and an uncontrollable urge to flex. Even with the enhanced protection of the biochemical armor, injuries are inevitable in close combat. When the armor can only do so much, the Nano Healing Combat Patch steps in a quick equipment to keep you going. This tiny nano healing combat patch may look ordinary, but it's a lifesaver. When there is no help, it doesn't just close your wound, it's healing right away, so you can stay in fight. Cuts, burns, scrapes, fixed in seconds. This patch repairs your tissue right away so you can keep going. Out here, you shouldn't stop, it's dangerous. A spacesuit and oxygen tank can keep you alive, but surviving is more than just breathing. You also have to keep your body intact. Whether you're facing Titan's cold or Venus's crushing pressure, these patches could be your useful shield. It's a medical breakthrough made just to keep you alive. To live the stars, we'll need more than just rockets, we'll need the science to survive. In the vast and hostile environments of different planets, survival hinges on more than just spacesuits and oxygen. It could come down to the craziest drug ever imagined. From shielding the body against the radiation in Mars to surviving Venus's crushing pressure or Titan's freezing temperatures, this hypothetical drug pushes the boundaries of science and science fiction. While such a miracle cure doesn't exist yet, exploring its possibilities forces us to confront the brutal realities of space travel. One thing's certain, if we ever hope to colonize other worlds, we'll need more than just rockets. We'll need a pharmaceutical revolution just to stay alive. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the bell. Because next time, it's about to get so weird, you'll be like, is this real?